Thank you for joining me today to learn how to draw Rudolph. This is one of my favorite directed draws to do in the classroom. I learned it as a sub and it's just a lot of fun. So you're gonna need a pencil, crayons, colored pencils. If you have watercolors, I'll show you what you could do with that as well too. It adds a little flair, but definitely crayons for sure. Um, colored pencils would be another option that you could do as well. I'm going to start by placing two fingers. So we have our, our page in um, vertical form, a white piece of paper. Car if you're gonna use watercolors later, definitely use um, cardstock. We're gonna see if you can see this, but we're gonna just place two fingers down at the bottom of the paper. We're just going to use this to do a straight line, to help us guide us to do a straight line, okay? So I think you can see that there. And I'm, I want you to, I'm gonna do the rest in marker, but I wanted to do this in pencil and I'll show you why when we get to that step. Next, you're gonna take your palm of your hand and you're gonna place it down like this. And you just wanna kinda of start where that line ends. And we're not gonna trace fully, but it's gonna help us to just make a really nice oval shape. Okay, and then we'll bring it back and you wanna kinda of connect it back to your line. So you have this really nice oval shape now. So you wanna connect the neck, the head over here to the other side. <clears throat> and then the next step is you're gonna draw the antlers. So to draw the antlers, you go out to each corner. So it's kind of a curved line to the corner on each side, okay? So there's your antlers. Now we're gonna add the eyes. And the eyes are in oval shape and they're also in vertical form too. So we're gonna have these big long eyes here. And when we do the next one, we want it to kind of touch. Every Rudolph I've done, I've never had one look similar. They all look different. Okay, and so there's his eyes. Now we're gonna do a horizontal oval for his nose. Okay, so there's the nose. Now we're gonna add some ears. So we're kind of making like an upside down C. And we're gonna do the same shape on this side. And we're gonna bring it over and it's gonna come to the point. And you connect it, okay? And then over here, same thing. You kind of want them to be even on his face a little bit, but depending where you put it on your paper, it may not be and that's okay. Because every reindeer is unique and not all of them are the same. And we're gonna love our art no matter what. Now we're gonna add the pupils and we're gonna put them right here. And you can shade those in black if you'd like, or you can just outline them and then come back later and fill them in. Perfectly fine. Okay, so now we're gonna finish off the antlers. So they have three branches kind of coming off their antlers here, or horns, I guess, um, from either side, and they're kind of curved too. Make the antlers. So now we have our basic shape of Rudolph. And what you're gonna do at this point, we're gonna draw a scarf. So this is why I didn't do this part in pencil, but, um, and so I want you to see, you're gonna go down here and you make like a C, like a, a backward C, and you're gonna bring it down. So we're rounding our corners, okay? We're rounding our corners. And then we're gonna bring it across, and we're gonna round our corners again and we're gonna come down with it this time over here. And same thing, we're gonna round the corners down at the bottom, okay? And then we're gonna bring it across. And now this is why we have the eraser. We're gonna erase this part of the neck here. So that when we color it, we won't have lines in our scarf, okay? So now you have your scarf, and now we're gonna add a rectangle on this side. This is gonna be part of the scarf. Okay, and then now we're gonna go from this point right here, 
make a little circle. We're going to draw a triangle, not the full length of our scarf. We're going to leave some room. So it gives it a little definition. And then we're just going to add some fringe on it down here. And I'm going to go over it with in black so that you can see what I did. So we have it over here. So I learned this as a sub actually. The first, I went into a sub one day and they were like, oh, you're gonna teach art today. And I thought, oh boy, this is gonna be fun because I'm not an artist. Then I read the directions and I did it and I was like so impressed. Normally I would leave everything I did for the teacher so that she knew what I did. But I was so happy with my drawing and how it turned out that I had to take it with me. And I've done it ever since. I've been doing it for six years now and I just, I love it. It's so comical, so fun, and just, I just love it. So we definitely want to put our signature when you're done with it. I'm going to show you a couple variations you can do now. So here's, now you're ready to color. So you have a couple ways you can do this. You can color it so it looks like this, where you color in brown, you do your scarf, you put your signature. You can add definition for the ears if you'd like. You could put some sparkly on his antlers, um, depending how you want to do it. At this point, if you're using crayon here, that's wonderful. You could also, if you want to take watercolor at this point and do the background in watercolor, like a blue or a dark nighttime color, if you were able to have that for watercolor. Um, if you do all this in crayon, even the eyes and everything, when you put the watercolor on, um, it won't go where the crayon is, so that's a tip. Or you can leave it white. Or you can color in a background with crayon or colored pencils, however you would like. And um, I added little details up here like a strand of lights. It's totally optional. Um, you can put more definition by coloring the, in the ears uh, pink. But So this is how you make Rudolph. I love making him. I would love to see your Rudolph pictures. So please send them to me, tag them to me. I think they're all unique and precious. And um, I hope you have a fun time making this. It is definitely a fun art project you can do in 15 minutes or less, and it doesn't require a lot of materials. If you're working with somebody around five, maybe a little bit younger, that hasn't had a lot of opportunity to holding a pencil, um, an adult or an older child would definitely want to help them. But um, it's very fun to do with little kids and see how they do, and you can do it each year and kind of keep it as a memory. So I hope you like this. This is my favorite one. I love Rudolph so much. But um, thank you for all saying you wanted to see how to do this. Uh, have a great evening.